so we started this um, workshop on Monday and we basically worked, started working on the review for um, the literacy, literacy definition for Pacific uh, and also started working on the benchmark and it's been an incredible uh, experience. We managed to um, work on the definition, revise the definition to make it more uh, suitable for our Pacific Islanders and so we've done quite a lot of um, uh, work just to try and incorporate some of the very important things that we believe uh, needs to be there in the definition to reflect um, our Pacific Island children. We presented the reviewed literacy um, definition as well as the benchmark to the Pilna Steering Committee yesterday and the result was it was um, they, the, the CEOs um, agreed to endorse the changes that were made. So most of the changes that were made was to try and um, make the benchmark more clear. So it was basically for clarity and also to make sure uh, the benchmark would be very helpful for those who are developing the items to make the items more suitable for to capture the skills for each level. So we didn't want to <coughs> to leave out to disadvantage any of the students so therefore we um, carefully uh, used the, the curriculum statements from all the Pacific Island countries and tried to um, identify what was common in all the uh, languages, um, vernacular as well as the English language. So <clears throat> for how it is going to affect the Pilna assessment is that I think um, this time it is more clear, we've unpacked, we've tried to do a lot of unpacking so that the learning outcomes are, are clear for each level and, the, and that um, to ensure there's a clear uh, progression from the lower levels up to um, year 8. <laughs> 